Yo, what's happening guys and welcome to the very first lesson of the best React tutorial series on YouTube. So, before you go any further, you need to know a couple of things, HTML and JavaScript. We're going to use them both quite a lot in this series, so if you don't know them, check out my beginner series on both, the links are down below. Third, you need to be unafraid of using the command line. Not proficient in using it, just unafraid. I'm going to show you everything we need to do as we go along. It's all very simple and we're going to be using it very sparingly too. Cool, so what is React? It is just a JavaScript framework for creating user interfaces. And we can use it to power a full web application like a single page web app. Or we can use it just for certain parts of a website like for a search form or something. Now it's component based, which means that everything we write in React is just gonna be a component pretty much. It's also very fast, thanks to the virtual DOM, and we'll take a look at that later. And it was created by Facebook, and in fact, Facebook use it on a lot of their website. So I said that React was component based, and that means that most of the things we write in React are components. So we might have a website, and on that website, we have a search component, directory component, a sign-up component, etc. Now we don't write the HTML for those in the HTML file itself, or most of it. We write the HTML in the JavaScript, in these different component files. Now that might seem a little weird at first, but it is really good and really flexible. And in fact, we're not writing in JavaScript, we're writing in JSX, which stands for JavaScript and XML. It allows us to combine HTML with JavaScript, okay? So we're writing all of these HTML components in our JavaScript components. Then when those components are required in the browser, React takes them and inserts them into the DOM, okay? So that is just a primer on how React works. We're gonna take a deeper look into all of this as we go along. So here's what we're gonna be learning. First of all, I'm gonna show you how to install React and set up a good workflow with Webpack. Then we're gonna create a simple to do application looking at components, props, state, events, and much more. Then we'll move on to routing and setting up different pages on React. And then finally, I'm gonna introduce you to the Create React App Package, which can help speed up creating a React app from scratch. All right, so I'm gonna be using the Node Package Manager in this series. And to use that, we have to install Node.js on our computer. So if you head over to nodejs.org, and download the current version, that's gonna install NPM for you as well. Just go through the installation steps, leave everything as is, and it's all gonna install fine. Uh, the second thing I'm gonna use in this series, and you don't have to, is CMD or Commander, however you wanna pronounce it. And this is just a command line interface which is a lot better than the default um, Windows one. So it looks something like this. I just prefer it, okay? so. That's at cmder.net. I'll leave the link down below. Uh, third, I'm gonna use Atom from a text editor. I really like Atom. It's very customizable and comes with some cool packages and it's absolutely free. So go to atom.io to use that if you want to. And I'm actually gonna show you a little thing that I'm using in Atom. It is the theme because a lot of people ask me what theme I use to get the text looking like this. And the theme is one dart for UI and Atom Monokai for syntax. Okay, cool. So a quick preview of the to-do list we're gonna build, something like this, where we can add things, uh, buy some flowers, okay? And we can also delete things. So we're gonna build this simple to-do application as we go through this series. And I'm also gonna show you how to set up routing so we can have multiple different views as well, okay? So there we go, that's your introduction to React. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how you can work along with the course files that I've prepared for this series. So I'll see you guys then.